Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics with Asmi. Guys, suppose you are working as a data analyst or a Power BI analyst and you receive multiple CSV files that are coming from different locations or different department or maybe from different months or different years and you need to combine all these files into a single master table. Then how to do that? So in this video, I'm going to show you the two ways, two methods to how to import and combine 20 plus CSV files in Power BI. So let's start. First step is to make sure that you should create a folder or a separate folder for all the CSV files you need to import. In this case, we have two folders. First is 2018 CSV files and 2019. If you go in this 2018 folder, here you can see we have a 12 files for each month and we have to import all these 2018 files into a Power BI. When Power BI imports CSV file, it is going to import from the folder. So make sure to create a folder before importing a CSV file. This is the first step. Now Power BI is going to iterate every single file regardless of how many files your folder has. Then Power BI is going to grab all these files and combine this data set together. Now let's see two methods how to do that. Now let's see the first method. We are done with our first step which is creating a folder for all the CSV files which we have to import. Now second step is to connect it to a data set. For that what you have to do, you have to go to home here. You will get this option as a get data. Just click this drop down and here you will get this more option. Once you click that, here you will see again in all different options. Here you have to click the folder and connect it. Now this window is opening. Now here you have to copy paste your folder path. Otherwise you can browse it from your computer. So for copy pasting your folder path, you, you have to go to the folder here and just copy this path and paste in the Power BI and click OK. Now here you can see this window is opening here we can see our the folder path and here we get the preview. Here you can see different columns first is content which is binary then name of the files are given there are 12 files so all the 12 files are here the extension is given date access date modified date created. Here at the bottom you can see some options. Here in the combine again you will get the two options. Combine and transform data, combine and load. In combine and load, Power BI is going to do again the iteration with those files. It is going to open those files and look at the table inside each file. And then it is going to combine the table instead. And second option is combine and transform. Here if you do, if you want to do data cleaning and data transformation, in your file then you can use this data combine and transform data and if you don't if you are getting the clean file you don't want to do any data cleaning and transformation you can use this combine and load here i am going to use the combine and transform data so let's click this now new window is opening here you can see again the preview of your data and here i will recommend you to use this skip files with error so when you click this, when, while importing your data, uh, CSV file in the Power BI, it will skip all the errors. Okay, then you just click OK. Then Power Query Editor will get open to do the transformation. It will take few minutes. Now here you can see our CSV folder is there, 2018. And here you can see some more files. Here Power BI has generated additional function and parameters and other things which are not needed. Query can become quite slow when you have lot of data and lot of file. So it's not good practice and it as it can increase the file size and get up performance issues and the data refresh issues. So for that we are going to use a second method which is slightly different. So let's see what is the second method. In second method which is highly recommended here we are not going to use this combine function here we are going to use directly the transform data so it will open our power query editor here you can see all the file name 
right here what we will do here we will skip these two columns and remove all other columns now why we are removing all the columns here because this is one where my data sits means in my content here we have all the data so we don't need all other columns so we have deleted that one thing i forget to tell you that when you import a multiple csv file in power bi it should have a same structure same structure in the sense it should have a same number of columns for example uh, if we, it is having a five columns then each table should have five columns it should exactly same across all the files otherwise refresh will fail this is very important reason for refresh failure please note that now next what we are going to do here we are going to create a custom column here and extract all the content from this column right so for that what you have to do you have to go to the add column and just click on custom column now this this will allow me to see the table i have in my files so we'll give the name as a data load for the column and here you have to write the csv dot document and just click this column so it will extract all the content from this column and click ok now here you can see we got a third column as a data label a data load and here we are getting all the tables okay now if we expand this here you can see all the columns but these are not with the headers it's right written, uh, read, uh, written as column 1 column 2 column 3 but we want as a header okay so every column is having a, some header so it should come over here so for that what we can do here we will go here uh, the, uh, again in custom and here we will add here promote header we have to promote header here so for that what we have to write here table dot promote headers you have to use this and in bracket we'll use again csv dot document which will extract our content and just do bracket complete and press ok now if we again expand this now here you can see now all the column names okay we are getting the headers so we don't use this original name as a prefix we will uncheck this and click ok now here you can see all the data is combined right and here this content we don't need now so we can delete this so we re will remove this and here you can see if you click this you will see all the files our 12 files is present over here we are it's going to create a separate column for that from which the files are coming so this is a name column which is there additional column now it's done you have to check the data type the format and all and after cleaning and transformation what you have to do you have to go to here file and close and apply now we have imported the 12 files so for checking that what you have to do you will go here and here i will create this card okay we have imported the 12 files so if we see here we'll take name here here you can see we are getting the 12 files so it's there uh, so you have to change this first name so for that we'll go here and we'll use in aggregation you have to use count distinct now here you can see the 12 names so 12 files are imported now if we want to add 2019 files so again 12 file will get added here so what we'll do here we will add 2019 means 12 files in that folder and then we'll check how it will work okay we have already imported a 2018 files and combined now we have to add this 2019 file 
So, for that what we will do here, we will copy this and we will paste in this folder. We have imported this 2018 folder. So, we are pasting the 2019 files in this folder. Now, here 2018 files are there all 12 months and here you can see 2009 files are also present all 12 months. Okay, now we will go to the Power BI and we will refresh it and we will see if it is updating or not. Now, we have added the 2019 files in that folder. Okay, now what we will do here, here you can see the 12 files are already imported and combined. Now, if we do a data refresh here, here you have to, uh, you go to the home here and just refresh your data. And now here you can see 24, means all the 24 files are imported and combined now. Earlier only 12 files we have imported and combined. Now after refreshing the data, you can see that all the 24 files are getting imported and refreshed. Okay, it, will, it is getting combined. Here again, uh, if you go to the table view here, here you can see 2018 data is there. 2019 data is also there. So, we have successfully imported and combined 20 plus means near about 24 files we have imported and combined in less than 5 minutes. So, this is how you have to import multiple files in less than 5 minutes in Power BI. Hope you find this video helpful. Feel free to post your feedback and any suggestion in the comment box. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and click on the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.